welcome to this quick demo of Ansible automating F5 Big IP. My name is Cameron Skidmore, and I'm a global solutions architect here at Red Hat. What I want to show you is how easy it is to handle administrative tasks for F5 by moving away from this ad hoc administration that we've had in the past and more toward an automation model powered by Ansible. For those of you who aren't familiar with F5, they are a global industry leading networking, load balancing and application delivery company. We're really proud of the work that Red Hat and F5 have done together. There are many reasons to move to automation, but for the purposes of this demo, we will show how Ansible automation makes managing the administration of F5 a lot more easy. Uh, and it, how it makes it more scalable, less time consuming, and less vulnerable to human error. So today when we play around with our lab, I'm going to use an environment that looks like this topologically, but uh, with today's task being only the adding of the Red Hat Enterprise Linux web servers as nodes to the big IP virtual edition load balancer that you see up on the screen. To do that, we are going to be running an Ansible playbook through Ansible Tower. So let's take a look at the playbook that we will be using to accomplish this and what makes it work. The playbook has some basic info at the top here. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, what I want you to focus on is the LB right here where it says hosts. Now, this simply represents the load balancer that we called out in the last topology, but uh, it could be hundreds or thousands of instances of load balancers. So right off the bat, you kind of get a feel for the scalability and the power of the Ansible platform. Down here, we have uh, the task that this playbook is going to execute. Uh, primarily, we're going to draw on the big IP node module that is going to power all this. And that's the integration that F5 has with Ansible already. And then below, we just simply have a few parameters that really call out details for running the play or the uh, task rather that we're going to be using to add those two nodes to the big IP virtual edition load balancer. So. Uh, let's give it a shot, but before we do that, I want to demonstrate that this is our F5 environment, that we actually don't have any nodes already. So if we go down here, node list, and retrieving configuration data. As you can see, we have no nodes in this environment right now. So let's head on over to Ansible Tower and see if we can't figure out how to add some. This is just our basic dashboard. We have not a whole lot going on in our environment, but if we go over here on the left side of the screen, go to my view, what we're going to see is a list of different items that we can do some job templates. And we're gonna click on the add nodes F5 job template. All these different specifications that we can add to it, but really all we're going to do is go down here and click the launch button. And we're gonna sit back, relax, and let Ansible Tower do all the work for us. So right now it's uh, just sending out the play, uh, running the playbook, and oh, looks like we got some feedback already. So we did, um, and a little bit of color coordination going on down here on the right. Yellow just simply represents what's been changed in the environment, and the green represents that it has been changed and that everything is a-okay. Okay, it looks Good, let's check back over into the F5 portal and see if we indeed have two new load or nodes on our load balancer. Boom, just like that, we have two nodes on our load balancer. So for fun, let's just go back over to Ansible Tower. Let's run this job template one more time. I'm gonna go back into add nodes, scroll down, launch, 
See if we can't trick Ansible Tower into adding two more nodes. And we'll just sit back and wait and see what it decides. And it's too smart for us. It said, no man, we already have the two nodes that you asked for before. And that's really a powerful feature of Ansible is that what it's doing here is going with the defined state of the environment that you defined in the playbook itself. So it's not going to add more nodes if you, it already notes that it has those two nodes. So it's a really powerful feature that lets you know that you won't be able to, you'll, you'll be basing everything off of a desired state of the platform and not just running a list of commands, for example. All right. So we've demonstrated some very specific examples of how Ansible can automate F5, but this is really only a tiny, tiny fraction of the capabilities Ansible and F5 have together. Thanks to the certified Ansible collections for F5, which has tons of supported resources for helping you automate F5 environments. If you would like to learn more about Ansible auto automation for F5, please check out the link below at the top to our certified integrations page. Uh, the playbook I used in this demo is part of a much larger Ansible Automating F5 workshop that Red Hat and F5 have put on, which I've included a link to the GitHub for. Well, that's it. That's all for today. Wherever you are in the big wide world, I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration uh, and happy automating, folks.